Hey YouTube, it's been a while. I'm back from my home time and I want to introduce to you my co-driver. Go ahead and introduce Hi, you. my name is, um, you know what? I think um, we already know who you are, so it's good. You could just, you know, you don't have to introduce yourself. All right. Okay, anyway, so, um, actually, be before I actually even went to home time, I just want to say this before I forget, I actually got a flat tire on one of my tandems. Um, if, and for those who have already watched one of my previous videos, which was titled Road, Ser Road Service in Canada, it was pretty much the same situation, except it was during the day, it wasn't in Canada, and it was on the opposite side of, uh, it was on the passenger side tandem tires. Plus, I wasn't really in the middle of nowhere. I was still on the highway alongside the edge of a ditch, but right across, you know, right across from me, I could pretty much walk to Walmart. So, yeah, but I was still, like, there was really no good place to um, pull aside, you know. And I was still, like, I wasn't as close to, uh, to the highway as I was in Canada, but I was still pretty close more than I would like to be. But, like, like, like earlier, um, I was pretty much on the long side of ditch. But this time, I could show you the ditch. And it wasn't that deep. It was just, you know, and it was pretty windy. <laughs> So yeah. Also, um, I bought a couple of things with me from um, from home, and I decided to change up a little bit on how I um, I decided to organize better the stuff in my truck. So um, I'll show you it and how I keep everything contained now, and that gives me more space than I used to have. And one of the comments um, in one in my previous video. Uh, there was a comment like, "How, how do you, like, how do you keep all this stuff in your truck?" I don't know. In my perspective, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of stuff in my truck, but who knows? I'll show you the majority of my compartments, if not all of them, and you can see that you know I don't really use all the space I can, and you know maybe it's because of the way I um, kind of decided to do some spring cleaning after I came back from home time, but I, I feel like I have a lot more space, so yeah. Also, I was, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I brought back with me from home, so hopefully you enjoy this video, and um, let's start. Do you have anything to say? No. Nothing? No? No! <laughs> okay, let's start. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you what my truck looks like inside. And maybe y'all will agree with me, or maybe not, that I have too much stuff in my truck. This is the inside of my truck. I'm going to give you a real quick tour. I got the TV I never use. Snacks. Laptop, couch. More snacks. Xbox I never use. Anymore since I got my laptop. Truck stuff. Let's see. My one wheel. Helmet. Clothes. Exercise stuff. Socks. Shoes. Well, not socks. So, or socks, sandals, um, and deodorant, whatever. Oh, okay. Did I go inside here? This is where I leave, put my, my laptop when I'm driving. Tea, sugar, energy drinks, mouthwash, more deodorant. 
know we're back where we started my new skateboard um the evolve um and this is my new refrigerator i know it looks like a cooler it's not a it is a cooler it's not a cooler it's a refrigerator it's a refrigerator let's see see it says refrigerator on it it's not a cooler okay but you know I just still don't really think I have too much in my truck I do plan on maybe getting rid of a one wheel now that I got a cooler um, skateboard um, this Evolve can go like 24 miles per hour and it will last up to 18 miles so it's pretty cool plus I could um, switch out the wheels to make it like you know regular skateboard wheels with the one wheel you only get that one wheel right <laughs> no, that was a pun not really yeah, but it became a pun okay whatever getting off topic yeah. but yeah this skateboard's really cool I haven't really got really you know used it that often yet but I'll I'm, I plan on it so yeah um, I might also get rid of my Xbox One. It's just I still haven't been able to um I still haven't really been able to play the latest Final Fantasy game since I'm still catching up on the games I have on my laptop. So I don't know. That's the main reason I still have my Xbox One. Once I finally beat that Final Fantasy game, I believe I might just give it give that Xbox One away to one of my friends or family members. I don't know. Who knows? It might I might just keep it in there. I mean, I might even get rid of my TV. I don't really use my TV since I got my, my gaming laptop. So those are things I could get rid of. My Xbox One, my TV, and my One Well. But yeah, I, um, the reason I wanted to show y'all that clip was because I know it, it might seem like I have a lot of stuff. Maybe I do for, for a truck driver. I don't know. Okay, anyway, um, that's one of the things. The skateboard is one of the things I bought back with me during my home time. I also bought back my refrigerator, which looks like a cooler, but actually really is a refrigerator. And it doesn't use that much power. It's pretty much built for like an RV truck, outdoors kind of thing. And I bought, um, when I came back to the terminal, I bought um, some Tupperware containers or, yeah, some Tupperware containers. They look like Tupperware, you know. Some containers at Walmart. I actually need some more containers for the snacks I have in that area to keep it more organized and, you know contained more maybe have some more space after that the only thing i forgot to mention was the vacuum i bought this vacuum because um the last two months i've been having to clean out the truck well not only the truck but the trailer mainly i bought this um hopefully this will help me out when i have to clean the inside of my trailer because it, I, it seems i've been cleaning my trailer a lot and the broom just sometimes doesn't cut it you know I think this will help me like once I finish um once I finish, you know, sweeping up everything in one pile maybe and getting to the crevices, you know. It would just help me you know, do what I need to do faster. Plus it's, you know, it's pretty powerful. And it's easy to, you know, to store away and whatnot. So Yeah, those are like the main things I bought back with me during my home time and if I haven't already added a clip of, uh, of what I had to deal with before I went on to home time I'll probably add it now here's a nice day kind of windy maybe it's a bit windy because of all the trucks and the cars passing
Here's my blown tire. This time it's on the passenger side, front tandem, super single tire. Hi. I don't know if it's better that it's, well, I guess it's better that it happens during the day since there's more visibility. The rim has, isn't messed up. It's not even touching the ground. I got my cones out, but it's pretty windy. One of them already come down. And like last time, I'm pretty much alongside the edge of a ditch again. So if I fall, I actually had to move a little bit closer to the road than I want to be because um, it's windy. And uh, when I was closer, when I was kind of more off of the road, it seemed to me like I was tilting a little bit to um, to the right. So I kind of moved a little bit nearer to the highway than I would like to because of it. Played in the tire and I missed it. He's inflating. Well, it seems to be already inflated. So he inflates it, then he puts it on. Ah. That seems really tough to do. Ooh. Use the force. I wonder if there's something I can do. So if a tire is fixed, he's putting away his equipment now. It only took about, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes. Um, that was a crazy situation, you know, with the... Um, it wasn't that crazy. It just it happened pretty, you know, unexpected. When does a tire pop, you know, expectantly, though? But, um, yeah, but luckily it happened during the day. And, you know, thinking about it now, it really doesn't have that much similarities to what happened in Canada other than that... It was a tandem tire that popped, but all the other apps, aspects of that situation was totally different than the road service in Canada. So, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.